What's up everybody out there in television land and the internet? Michael Hurdle here from the Michael Hurdle Production Studio, helping you render your imagination when it comes to video production, 3D animation, and visual effects on a small or no budget at all. <laughs> Thank you for tuning into this episode of the Micro Hurdle Production Studio. I just wanted to touch base with you guys, just in case you were hiding under a rock like I have for the past week. Autodesk has come out of nowhere, yanked the rug from under my leg, bust me in the face when I fell. I got up all disarrayed. I was like, what the hell did you pull the rug from under my legs, Autodesk? What's your deal? And Autodesk turned around and said, bam, mother effer, a brand new version of Maya. Maya version 20. 22. And I know you guys are probably wondering, just like I was, why did Autodesk skip over Maya 2021 and went straight to Maya 2022? And then when I went online and I did a little research, uh, background of why they did that, apparently all their different software and plugins are 2022. Like let's say 3D Studio Max version 2022, whatever, whatever, 2022. So it would make more sense for them to make Maya 2022 instead of just going to Maya 2021. So let's just talk about some of the new features in this Autodesk Maya 2022. There was just too much for me to remember off the top of my head. So I just decided to print some of the stuff out from Autodesk's website. Um, there's a big deal that everybody's making a big deal about. USD plugin for Maya, where you can actually take huge scenes, huge, because I tried it, and where normally Maya data, you would import it into Maya, you would tumble, roll, you know, back and forth. I said, this is a good time for me to test out this USD plugin. Exported it as USD, re-imported it as USD, and I now can tumble back and forth with no problem. So that's a real game changer. Thank you, Pixar, for making that. So let's move on. I mean, more to come in the future. So if I don't get too deep into each new feature now, it's okay because hopefully in future videos, I'll go in depth with each one of these new plugins or features. You have animation ghosting for those of you who animate, a really good tool to have and use. Not really great at animation yet, but I will be. Um, component tags for deformers. Python 3, everybody's making a big deal. Now I'm not a scripter, but this is good for me in the future because I'm actually a student and I'm learning Autodesk Maya. And eventually, if you want to up your game, you're going to definitely want to learn Python or Mel. Don't really hear too many people talk about Mel scripting no more, but I still think that Mel scripting is king. And most of the plugins that we use use Mel script. Some of the plugins that I use actually use Python, but the older version of Python. This version of Autodesk Maya 2020 comes already installed with Python 3 activated. There's ways for you to go back to old Python, but I never really went too deep into it. So, But there are ways, and if I find a way, I'll put a link in the description for you so you can just go click on it. Moving on, we have Bifrost 2.2.1.0, that plugin. I love Bifrost because of all the things you can do with Bifrost snow, rain, uh, all types of things like that, you know, just like uh, simulations and stuff like that. Bifrost is pretty taxing on a, on, a, on a system, but if you have the right hardware and you have everything at the nice sweet spot, Bifrost will run really nice. So that's really one thing I'm excited for as well. Um, there's a few other things like graph editor improvements. They have a new feature in Maya called Sweet Mesh. Now that feature is pretty good. I've only touched it just a little bit. Like I said before, this video is just to let you guys know that there's a brand new version of Maya Maya 2022, and I want to give you guys a brief overview. I can't get too, too deep into this program right now because realistically, I'm new and I have to learn some of these things too. So it will be very exciting over the next few months or the next few weeks or whatever, how long it takes is for me to get myself familiar with most of these new features. So let's now move on. Of course, they said a lot of security preferences. You have a lot more security features now, which is great. Uh, quicker startup time, that's very important. When I saw the keynote or the, um, the webinar, they were telling you that, you know, it, it, sometimes you have to, when you load Maya, when it loads all your plugins, your scripts and everything. What I personally do is when I load Maya, I would load, launch the program, go eat something, go get a glass of juice or some water or something and come back like five minutes later and it should be fully loaded. Now, mind you, it does not take five minutes to load Maya, but I'm just saying I just give it like two, three minutes. So, but like I said before, I'm moving on to another feature, uh, Rokuku or Rokoko. I think it's Rokoko Motion Library Plugin. Now, at first, I didn't know what this was when I was doing my little tiny bit of investigation. 
Rococo motion library plugin. Then actually I did some more research and that's a pretty dope feature. Let me give you an example. Let's just say I model a character or anything, a bipedal character, a dog, a monster, a creature, a dragon, whichever you want. I model a, a, a humanoid. And now I don't want to painstakingly have to sit there and hand keyframe animate each frame for this character. With this now this motion library, you can now download directly into Maya pre pre-rendered or pre-done uh, motion capture data. Um, cache playback improvements. So that's always a plus. Um, it ain't nothing worse than when you're trying to animate something and you, 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 you don't have enough cache playback so your character is moving all jacked up. Now it has cache playback improvements, although I've never really had cache playback improvements when it comes to animation because number one, I, don't, I haven't gotten to a level where the animation is so, so intense that I need to, it's gonna, it's gonna rock my system. Another thing that's very interesting to me is the plugin called Create VR for Maya. Now, I don't have a VR headset yet, but just because I have this option in Maya, I would love to use this. I don't know the logistics of behind the scenes. Does it come already ready to go? Do you have to download something? There's just too many questions and answers right now. And I'm going to get the answers first before I say anything more when it comes to um, create VR. You put the headset on. Now you have your controls at your hand. You're actually in that plugin, plugged into Maya. You'll take your hands with your controller, sculpt whatever you need to sculpt in, in that VR world. Then the dope part about it is when you complete that, then you can now export that, that you can actually see and use in Autodesk Maya. Autodesk is stepping up their game. I mean, they have to because look at Blender. Blender is stepping up their game and they're stepping up their game hard. Did you just find out they just came out with a new release of Blender? A new version? Everybody coming out with a new version of something, man. It's just too many things. My head is like, you know what I mean? So, all right, so when it comes to Arnold, it says Arnold 4.2.1 plugin. Now, like I told you guys before earlier, you may have just a still version of, of um, Arnold, but if you really want to do sequences and animation and stuff like that, like I do, you're going to need to pay for that full version of, or the subscription, that one year subscription of Arnold. So you better put that in your mind. I'm just giving you guys the, 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 the nuts and bolts of when it comes to what Autodesk has dropped on us all of a sudden. I tell you the truth, I was a little bit taken back when it came to opening up the browser and seeing that there was a new version of Maya. And then I'm looking online, all the Maya heads and all the Maya video tutorial people was way ahead of me. You guys are so smart. I personally need to be up to date when it comes to certain things, but that's neither here nor there. But anyway, I just want to let you guys know, my name is Michael Hurdle for the Michael Hurdle Production Studio, helping you render your imagination when it comes to video production, 3D animation, and visual effects on a small or no budget at all. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, you can always hit the thumbs down button. But please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that YouTube's algorithm that hides and lurks in the dark and says, hey, what you talking about? You want to get through? You got to go through me. That's the YouTube algorithm. So don't forget to hit those buttons and help me out. Oh, don't forget to share this either, you know, because I'm a cool guy and I think I should be shareable. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a brief update, make this video real quick. My name is Michael Hurdle from the Michael Hurdle Production Studio, rendering your imagination. And I'll talk to you guys the next time I do a video. Laters.